Inmates who have tested positive for COVID-19 inside a state prison in Anderson County, Tennessee Colony, are now being moved to another unit away from East Texas. KETK's Mai Owens is here to explain the reasoning behind these transfers and why some say it's too little too late. After a surge of inmates testing positive for the coronavirus inside the Beto unit in Anderson County, city officials looked for lawmakers to step in. And asking me if I could, could help uh, uh, apply pressure on, on TDCJ uh, and the governor's office to, to try to shut down prison transfer statewide with a theory of this is the only way we're going to be able to contain the spread. Anderson County Judge Robert Johnston telling KETK News offenders with COVID-19 are being sent to another unit, Stringfellow near Galveston causing the total number of positive cases at Beto to go down. But Texas House Representative Cody Harris says more needs to be done. State agencies are usually pretty slow to respond to things, and they're, they're looking at 140 units across the whole state, I believe. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, it wasn't fast enough to contain the spread. While the TDCJ has implemented safety measures like increasing the use of masks and gloves, some wonder if the spread of the coronavirus could have been avoided if these measures had been done sooner. During a special city council meeting held Monday, Palestine officials expressed their frustration. It's got to stop. They can't just let it run through the whole system up there. But, you know, now there's so many infected, I'm not sure what will happen. It's very sad. Wanting to ensure the safety of prison workers who live in the community. They have to go to their own medical provider to get a test done if they think they need one. They're not cool. done at location. And so I ask that that change. In hopes of preventing any further spread of COVID-19. Maya Owens, KETK News. State Representative Harris says right now he is focused on testing, making sure Beto employees have the option to be tested at work. He's also urging correctional officers to contact his office directly if they're having any problems getting PPE.